Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're bringing you another great game of EDH. I know, I said EDH. Since it's Halloween, we wanted some spooky magic, and to do so, we decided to play some more themed commander. But I assure you, we did not skimp on power. This was a super fun game, and I hope you enjoy. Also, if you're interested in playing with us, hop on our Discord. We have an ever-growing community and would love to talk MTG or whatever strikes our fantasy. And another benefit is we often let people know when we play, and would love to meet some new people. Alright, block there, kill that, oh, that is trample. Guess I'm just dead on board. Starting us off is Connor, and on this unhallowed eve, he has summoned from the pits of hell a swarm of demons to do his bidding. Villas, broker of blood, leads this horde. And if you thought demons were scary, well, Villas is at the top of that list. His ability to trade life for cards is no joke. And killing your creatures in the process is just the cherry on top. Definitely be afraid once you see him reach 8 mana, since this demon will definitely take over the board if left unanswered. Next up is Hidden, and in preparation for the upcoming Red Wedding, he has brought his own party of bloodthirsty vampires. Edgar Markov leads this parade, and the other members of the table better cover their necks. If they're not careful, they'll be drained through, since these vampires are scarily quick if Someone invites them unguarded. In the third spot, we have Jaeger, and an underutilized tribe of spooky creatures. The Reaper King is truly a king when supported by his subjects. Reaping his opponent's permanence every time he gains a new Scarecrow is truly a terrifying ability. And remember to not blink, lest the Scarecrow ascend on you and take everything you have. And bring up the rear, we have Blue. And what kind of Halloween would it be without zombies? And while not technically a zombie himself, the Scarab God can certainly utilize the Horde of Undead to great satisfaction. Not only can he use his own zombies, but given a little mana, it can turn his opponent's best creatures against them and create a truly horrifying horde. But without further ado, let's get on to the gameplay. Alright. I'll lead off. This is gonna be a wild experience, so I'll draw. I'm gonna play Snow Covered Swamp. I'm gonna hit Soul Ring. I'm gonna hit oh. Soul Ring into Fellowar Stone. Damn. Ooh. Well, now we know who the enemy is. Yeah. Hold on. Friendship. Uh, <laughs> and then I will pass. Friendship? Yeah. Uh. It's like rolling up with like, like a Hauser on the battlefield. So it's like, like, oh, don't worry, guys. It's small arms. Guys, my, my command is eight mana. Just give me some sort of like. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go swamp into this is a soaring and this is a soaring and this is a soaring. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna pass after that. I'm gonna play a swamp. Okay. Don't worry, we're just jump. jealous. We're just jealous of your rocks. No, I, <laughs> I will play a training center. I will tap it for a soaring. You're not going to be the only one. <laughs> I will tap two for an arcane signet, and I don't want to waste mana, so I will tap one for altar of the brute. See, I was nice guys. I think I'm at the wrong table. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't the enemy. I just want you to know that this is not. I knew day one. I added fast rocks after I saw that man's list. I was like, I am not going to be the enemy here. I knew <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to ask because I wanted to make sure that it was on the right level. Uh, I I will pass after that. Okay. It's, it's, it's not on the right one. Will. It's okay. Rock. This, will be, this will be fun. All right. Oh. Well, I will shock in a watery grave, taking two, because apparently having a first turn play is now like life or death. <laughs> so I'll tap it for a champion of the parish. And unfortunately, it's the holographic one, so it is not going to show up well. <laughs> gotcha. It looks great, except for the fact it's just black. Gotcha. Okay. I feel no, really uh, unprepared. <laughs> Connor untaps and has another snow-covered swamp as land. He then finishes his turn with an Erebos. Hidden has a plains and casts a dust legion zealot. He gets another vampire off Edgar and on ETB draws one and loses a life. Jaeger has a mana conflux and everyone then has to mill one. Trigger salt out of the brute. Alright, everyone mill one card. Damn, I got a merciless eviction. Ooh, I that was like the worst thing I could have milled. Oh Rooftop no! For him. Rooftop. Oh no! <laughs> Gosh oh. darn it! My game's over. <laughs> he then continues to ramp with a talisman of resilience, milling another card. Oh, that's all. Huh? 
All I would say, what is that? A turn three Reaper I'm, King? Pretty much. Maybe. Tap draw. <laughs> uh, it's not the ideal plan, I believe, but maybe. Blue has a tap Temple of Deceit and scries one of the top. He obviously likes the card, and he cycles a Baron more to draw it before handing the turn over to Connor. On Connor's turn, he plays a Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx, as land, and surprisingly just leaves mana open. These are surprisingly uh, slow starts for those hands. Yeah, you're totally Our only saving grace. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, that's good. I was saying, don't worry, you guys are fine. Hidden as a mountain, and goes to combat. He sends a Zealot and Vamp token at Jaeger, but also doesn't have a follow-up play. Okay, I will untap. I will draw. Oh my god. Um... Hold your breath. I'm going to pass after that. Interesting. I'm going to play anything. Now I'm All very right. concerned. Blue one taps and has another tap land, this one being a sunken hollow. He passes and it is end step. Connor pays into Erebos to draw two cards. Alright, your end step. I'm just gonna. Uh. Pay four life and uh, draw two cards. I say, uh, can I do that too? <laughs> <laughs> I can't feed the vampires. It's too scary. Connor then has a Westville Abbey as land and slams down a Runescar Demon. He does get a little too hasty trying to search, but Jaeger puts a damper on it when he mana drains it. Two mana drain that? Holy yeah. shit. That's seven mana. There you go. He wasn't lying when he said he had a good first hand. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's All definitely right. a Reaper King coming down next turn. Finn draws and plays a Swamp. This gets him a gifted Aetherborn and another Vampire token. Hearing what Jaeger might do with the seven free mana next turn, Hidden again swings his Vampires at him. Connor uses the lives. Yeah, but you're gonna. You just mana drained a Runescar demon. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's no shade you can oh, throw okay. right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm just trying. If you want to have a fair game, just kill Antonio. And then after that, it's three of us. So. Oh. I'm done after that. Jaeger untaps and gets his seven mana. This doesn't last long though, as he casts his commander, the one and only Reaper King. I have um, a response. Hey. You have your own I'm gonna drain? jump to you, Blue, and I'm gonna mana drain it. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't like that. I will- No! Closer <laughs> tone. <laughs> ah, I'm so mad, that was gonna be 10 mana! I know! <laughs> that was good. The king then resolves, and everyone mills again. Knowing how big a target the king is, Jaeger then attempts to enchant it with Akaya's ghost form. However, this time it's hidden that has an answer. As he exiles the king with a swords to plowshares. How much? This is the life on the right, so yep. I gain six. Yep, I'm just giving you all that life I took from you. Oh, I think that's a fair trade. <laughs> Blue untaps, but sadly no mana for him. He does stay on theme as he has a tapped Crypt of Agadim. But even without the extra mana, he still has a play as he casts a Death Baron. It resolves and it gives a champion a plus one plus one counter. Some wholesome magic things. Wholesome zombies. Yeah. Wholesome zombies. You guys, <laughs> man, you guys have managed to get almost all my unwholesomeness in the graveyard, so... <laughs> yeah. Connor starts his turn off with a mana vault, and this lets him power out his commander, Villas. And then anyone else want a mana drain to get uh, eight mana? I say, uh, mana drain? I, I totally have one. <laughs> just like my three soul rings. <laughs> to be honest, I think, Connor, we just need to wield you against Jaeger. So, at this point, I think you're safe. <laughs> yeah, and then the zombies are going to clean up. Bro, you're going to win this. Don't worry, Blue. I believe in you. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's coming. Don't worry. I don't don't worry. worry. It's a great list, man. Like, be proud of yourself. Don't even worry. You're in a sea rift, a late game. Oh, like, no, gonna, I, like, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I'm just you're deflecting. Blue, yeah, I'm deflecting. It's strategy. Uh, actually, we're all gonna lose to the vampires. <laughs> yeah, probably. God damn, that that is just so bad for me. Luckily for Hidden, he does have a terminate in his hand, and the demon goes back to the pits of hell for now. Sure. 
Oh my gosh. So much removal. <laughs> I mean, I... The second he untaps, I just don't have a board anymore and he's starting to draw <laughs> cards. And the dogpiling continues as Hidden's vampires sink their fangs into Connor, who, now without a creature, can't block and takes the hit. Jaeger is almost top decking at this point, but luckily for him, he finds an arcane adaptation off the top. He casts it and mills everyone again. Blue continues with his zombie lords as he casts an undead war chief. He still fears the crackback and decides to give it back to Connor. Connor takes one off his tap vault and casts a Kothafed, Soul Hoarder. Now with a good blocker, he turns it over to Hidden. Hidden wants in on the value party and casts a Vanquisher's Banner. He names vampires and heads the combat. The Aetherborn heads at Connor with the three other vamps heading at Jaeger. Surprisingly, Connor doesn't want to block the death touching vampire and both players take the hit. Jaeger plays a tapped overgrown tomb and once everyone mills, kill again. Bump. Ah, Cyclonic Rift. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> He's definitely assembling some sort of value engine as he casts a Strionic Resonator and mills everyone again. Blue gets a swamp off the top and goes for some shenanigans as he casts a tapped Grim Grim. He gets another counter on his champion and decides the zombies are going on the prowl. The champion has a Connor for 6, who decides this is too much and decides to trade away his demon for the zombie. Connor untaps and takes another one off his mana vault. He still needs blockers and decides to cast a Dread Presence. Unfortunately, he does not have a swamp to follow it up and hands it over to Hidden. Alright, untap, draw. Oh, that's definitely something. What? Uh, two mana is a Boros Signet. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. He then heads the combat and sends six at Jaeger, with the Aetherborn going at blue. Both players take the hit, and Hidden is done after that. Okay. On top, I will draw. Hmm, it's something. Every time you said that, it's been terrible for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? <laughs> I'm top decking. I, I, I want you to know I'm top decking. So, <laughs> it's not pretty good for me. Jaeger ends up casting a Guardian project and mills everyone again. Okay, everyone mills. Alsman. Well, Aether Scouts. That. that was gonna be all my response cards. Response? Yeah. <laughs> that is all your response cards. And at his end step, hidden chaos warps Blue's Grim Grim. Let's do the great. Uh, I have a hundred cards and can hardly shuffle them. Dance. Cool. All right. Let's see what fun do we get. Micaeus, oh, the unhallowed. Damn. I'll take the trade. <laughs> damn, that <laughs> bit me way in the ass. Ah, <laughs> oh, things are coming up uh, roses. Yeah. Oh, that's sadness on me. Blue untaps with a shiny new Micaeus and casts a pretty scary Scarab God. But luckily, he doesn't have enough to activate him. And on his end step, Connor Infernal grasps Micaeus. There's been a lot of removal. Yeah. It's yeah. It's, it's gonna be tons of removal. Hunter takes one off his vault and heads to combat. The dread presence goes at hidden, and on the second main, he clears away the board with a toxic deluge for five, and finishes it up with a Phyrexian arena. Pass. I just put myself on such a clock. Anyway, pass. Uh. Hidden starts to rebuild with an Anna on the Ruin Sage. He gets another vamp token and card draw, but doesn't have a land to play and hands it to Jaeger. I like it better when Anowin was stealing stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like him better in his leg, his Ocean's Eleven phase. Mm. I mean, I'd rather have him out on the field than this Anowin. <laughs> yeah. Jaeger shocks in a watery grave and mills everyone again. Sadisi, no, I like him. I'm pretty sure the MVP of this game is that Ashna's. Oh, I'm sorry, Ashna's altar, but it was the altar of the brood. Uh, altar of the brood. Yeah. Uh, not having anything else and wanting some card draw, Jaeger then recasts his commander Reaper King. He mills everyone and gets to draw off his guardian project. Blue wants his creature back and casts a Heaven Goal Lich. 
Hunter untaps and pays to untap his vault. He then loses a life to draw off his arena. The funniest, like, both uh -huh. the you ever saw. Oh, hey! <sighs> I mean, if you can sprint to a victory, yeah, faster than you can sprint to death. <laughs> no, I'm sprinting to death, boys. <laughs> uh... He looks at the top, but doesn't want to dip his life totals much lower. Hidden untaps, and on his upkeep, Anna 1 forces everyone to sack a non-vampire creature. So I forgot about that. Gosh darn it. Yeah, so, nice. And Erebos is now a creature as well. You've got Devotion. I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bye-bye. Yeah. Didn't Rupert ah, did it. Yeah. Bro. I'm not gonna lie. That was a whole lot better than what I thought it was gonna end up with. Yeah, that worked out way better for you. This is now time for the offensive, as Hidden then casts Edgar. He gets to draw off the banner and plays a swamp before heading to combat. He's not sure though who he should be swinging at. He knows it's probably Connor with his Bola Citadel, but given his lack of creatures and his already low life total, Hidden decides to get it hidden against Blue before he can rebuild. On attack, Edgar gives his vampires a plus one plus one counter, and he ends up dealing 15 to Blue. Damn, right, I could have just total. actually really taken Connor out. Yeah. He would have uh, actually murdered me. <laughs> uh, then I am done after that. Okay. On top, I will draw. Mm. Jaeger, you've gone from my arch enemy to my only hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. I wonder. No, I I'm going to pass after that. I don't have. Blue doesn't have the mighty turn Hidden thought he would as he just cast a Zombie Master. Connor untaps and pays to untap his vault. He loses one to draw an extra card and plays a snow-covered swamp as land. He decides to take some action and cast a Liliana Vest. He down ticks her to tutor a card on top and then casts it using his Citadel. And now Hidden wishes he would have taken Connor out on his previous turn as he casts a Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Each opponent loses 9 life, and he gains 27. 27? Yeah, 27. Okay. So I go to... 39. Well, we did it, guys. <laughs> Hooray! So... <laughs> and at his end step, Jaeger swords Hidden's Anawan. Sadness. Thank you! <laughs> yeah, that was my best play here. <laughs> but yeah. now I'm drift. Hidden is a word. Trap. <laughs> Hidden decides to nullify much of Connor's last turn as he casts a kicked blood tribute to take half of Connor's life rounded up. Edgar then heads at Blue, who blocks with his zombie master. Jaeger casts a mox amber and mills everyone again, but doesn't have enough to recast the Reaper King and hands it to Blue. Blue doesn't like what he has to do, but he casts a Diagraph Captain, following it up with an Altar of Dementia. Connor untaps and takes two, one from the vault and the other from the arena. On his main phase, he plays a snow-covered swamp off the top and follows it up with a four-life Vidalcan Ori. Now having flash beat, he feels a little more confident and goes to combat. He sends Garriott Hidden, who takes the hit, and on his second main, upticks Liliana to have Hidden discard a card. Here, I'll oh, discard first. a Cathar's Crusade. I don't think that's how I'm gonna actually... You didn't see that. I'm gonna discard a synchro. <laughs> I, <don't... laughs> I don't feel bad at all. That was good, yeah. He then follows it up with a Liliana of the Dark Realms and upticks her first swamp. Hidden is getting really sick of that bolus as Citadel, and on his main phase, casts a return to dust to exile it and Connor's Vidalcan Ori. Connor does have response as he activates Nykthos for mana and casts a deadly Rollick to exile Edgar and casts an Archfiend of Despair. Everything then resolves, and Hidden casts a Vampire Hexmage. He gets another token and a draw, but he's out of mana and hands it over to Jaeger. Okay. Well, not on top because I'm not doing much. My god. This is actually good somehow. Jaeger then shocks in a Hollowed Fountain and mills another card. This now gives him enough to cast his commander. 
This mills everyone again, and he gets a draw from his guardian project. Blue one taps, and he seemed to found the spice. He uses his Crypt of Agadine for 8 black, and uses 7 of it for a Rot Hulk. It resolves, and on ETB, he brings back Micaeus, Heaven Go Lich, and a Sadisi. He chooses to sacrifice his captain to her exploit trigger. Oh, finally things are happening! <laughs> The Diagraph then comes back due to Undying, and to end his turn, Blue uses the Havengo Lich's ability to cast his Champion of the Parish from the Graveyard. He is done after that, but I do want to take a moment to say that Blue didn't realize that he could have actually won the game on his turn. All he had to do was exploit Sadisi to herself twice and grab a Soul Ring and a Phyrexian Altar, using the Soul Ring to help cast the Altar and sacrifice the Rot Hulk. It would have come back due to Undying and revived Sidisi again to grab his Gravecrawler and take the table down. But he didn't see the line and the game continues. And at Blue's end step, Hidden sacrifices his Hexmage to take out Liliana Vess. Connor untaps and takes the two. He has another snow covered swamp and sends his Archfiend at Blue for six. On his second main, he upticks Lily again to find a snow covered swamp. He then follows that up with an extra planar lens and imprints one of his snow covered swamps. Now with double mana he is feeling secure as he casts a stinging study to lose 8 and draw 8. He likes what he drew as he then activates Nykthos and uses all of his mana to cast a torment of hailfire where x equals 8. Unfortunately for Connor, Jaeger cannot let that resolve as he then counters it with a fierce guardianship. And at Connor's end step, Blue loses 6 life due to the demon. But in response, Blue then sacrifices the rest of his creatures to mill Hidden for 27 cards. Hidden untaps and casts a Shadow Alley Denizen. It does give a creature Intimidate, but that really doesn't matter. He then gains another Vampire token and a draw, but follows this up with a Patron of the Vein, who on ETB takes out the Gary. This then gives him another counter on all his vamps and Hidden then heads the combat to take out Connor. Jaeger untaps and draws, but doesn't find anything useful, as he then scoops to the swarm of bloodsuckers. Game review. Man, that was a blast. I honestly had a great time playing that game, and I hope it did not disappoint. Overall, even though this wasn't CDH, it was still a cool game that had a lot of interaction and power behind those plays. Although not super obvious, the MVP of this game was the Altar of the Brood. It ended up milling a lot of Blue's interaction, and really had an impact on the game. And while I know Blue could have won if he saw the line on his turn, the game did have a few plays that really could have changed the game. Hidden's choice of attacking Blue instead of Connor definitely shaped the game differently. Hidden could have knocked Connor down to two and prevented him from getting his Gary off the top. This then would have let Hidden stop Blue much earlier and most likely given Hidden the game then. But this was definitely a battle of the ages, and again, from everyone here on Dead on Board, I hope you enjoyed our Halloween Spooktacular. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I just wanted to let you know that we have a TCG affiliate link, and if you ever see a card you want to try, or are inspired to brew something new, use our link when purchasing and we'll receive a small portion of the sale. This is a great way to support the channel, and if you enjoyed the gameplay, please leave a like and subscribe, as it really helps us keep making videos. And remember, never give up, even if you're dead on board. I'll see you guys later.